YouTube One Study Channel, and in this video, we will go through the NPSC advertisement for CTAC Engineering Services 2023 vacancies. Okay, so there are more than 140 plus vacancies for this year, only for engineering services. So it's a good number of vacancies. So first of all, let's go through some important informations. Your H is on. 1st January 2023 you should be at least 21 years and a maximum of 30 years and the upper age limit is relaxable by 5 years for SC and ST so 30 plus 5 you should be 35 and for government employees another 5 years okay so for government employees you can apply till you attain the age of 40. The 80 percent of the vacancies are reserved for any Naga tribe and Kuki, Kachari, Garo, Mikir, provided which per such persons are indigenous inhabitants of state of Nagaland. So 80 percent is reserved for Nagas, okay, and 20 percent of the post vacancies are unreserved. To submit your online application, you need to register for OTR, that is one-time registration, which will be mandatory for filling up of online application for engineering services 2023 and future online application. So you can register the OTR from e-district portal. Okay. And the last date will be 24th February 2023. So make sure if you haven't registered for OTR, Make sure you hurry up before 24 February 2023. And the online application can be submitted in the NPSC portal. So after your OTR is approved, okay, you can proceed and apply for 2023 Engineering Services Exam CTAC. The online application will be available from 31st of January till noon of 28th. February 2023. Now let's go through some various vacancies. Item number one, four posts of SDO for Agri Civil Engineering. Okay, so class one gets it under Water Resource Department. So two posts reserved for Indigenous inhabitant of Nagaland. One post unreserved, which means any citizen of India can apply for this particular post. Okay, and one post reserved for BT Chang. So two posts for any Naga tribe, okay? One unreserved and one reserved for BT Chang. So the minimum qualification required is BE in Agri Engineering, BE in Civil Engineering. However, 50% minimum, 50% of this post shall be reserved for person possessing degree in Agricultural Engineering, okay? So, it is an advantage for candidates who have BE in agri-engineering, okay?